That's a lot of boxes, people. Hey guys, me host it was all. Thank you very much for tuning in. Look what I got! I got a lot of boxes. <laughs> That's a lot of boxes, people. Oh my god. So I've got the Z box, two threads box, and a my geek box all arrived on the same day. So I don't know what's been happening with threads, but I've got a double up here. Let's I wonder if it's the same box or whether it's these are, are these different months? That's October 2019's box. They haven't put a sticker on this one to tell me which one it is. Oh, that's September's box. So I've got September's and October's threads there. <laughs> that's October 2019's my uh, Z box. And then what the hell is this? This is the October 2019 Mikey box. Awesome. Right. Let's start with the threads, guys, because well, they're the smaller of the boxes. So we've got two two threads boxes. First one I'll unbox is the October ones. These are the brand new threads. Let's see what we got. This is Threads is brought, it's brought to you by the same people who do Z Box. Ooh, what's that? Brief zipper pulls from Kid Robot. Best friend zipper pulls. So you can get it's like a little mystery box. And you can get these little zipper friends. I guarantee they attach to your zipper then. Your coat, your hoodie. Is that what they are? Let's open it up and see what it is. Whoop. If you see me glance over at the television, guys, I am sorry, it's because the uh, Hell in a Cell is on. And Alexa, Alexa Bliss just walked out. And I do like me some Bliss. That is kind of cute. It's like this little, <coughs> little crybaby diaper thing. That's kind of cute. And yeah, it just has this little attachment here. A little clip, and it just clips onto your... Uh, onto anything you want it to, really. Your zippers. On your backpack, or your hoodie. Wherever you want to zip him to. And it comes with like a little... card. About him. Cool! Okay, it's a weird little item to include. I don't only get anything like that in these boxes, so that's kind of weird. It's normally just a t-shirt and a book. Which makes me fear for the worst. What have they put in here? The t-shirt is yellow. Oh no! Sorry, I've just seen what... I've just seen what... What graphic novel we've got. <sighs> Come on, Z-Box. Not another Eagle Moss piece of crap. Star Trek Volume 6 Nero again. That's the third copy of that I own now. Hope the t-shirt's better. Ooh, Batman! Gotham Point Batman, 1966. Actually do like that. Nice yellow shirt. You don't get many coloured shirts in these boxes. So that's nice. It's in my size. Official Warner Brothers merchandise. Yeah, okay. The reason I always say official merchandise is because sometimes in these boxes the companies print their own t-shirts and don't normally supply actual merch tees, but this is an, an actual Warner Brothers Batman t-shirt, so that's an official t-shirt. If you get me. Sometimes they print their own t-shirts with Batman on and stuff. Okay, happy about that. So, Batman. The zipper pull thing's weird. The Batman t-shirt's pretty cool. I like the Batman tee. The graphic novel can go suck an egg. Okay, September's box. In fact, before I get any, any crosser, <laughs> let's thank these subscribe people. Thank you, subscribers, for uh, you know leaving me some awesome comments. There are the shout outs, guys. If you want a shout out in one of my videos and your comment displayed on screen, then make sure you leave me an awesome, juicy comment down below and I'll play it on the screen next time. Thank you, guys, for everyone that has subscribed. I appreciate it. Okay, I've just opened the next box and I'm seeing a really cool t shirt. I saw the words The Shining and just had to. Oh, it's got a little. Come play with us. Let's see. Ooh! Oh, okay. I thought it was going to have the little girls on it as well. It's not. It's just the copy of the floor. <laughs> it's the carpet. And it just says The Shining. Meh! It's a Shining t-shirt. I'm not going to quit grass. I like The Shining. In fact, I love The Shining. One of my favourite movies. And with, Doc, with Doctor Sleep coming out, oh, I'm so excited for Doctor Sleep. 
I'm going to re-watch Jack Nicholson's Shining just before going to the cinema. Shining t-shirt, not bad. Graphic novel. Are you ready for me to blow up? Ah! The Curse of Eagle Mask continues. Star Trek The Graphic Novel Collection, The Next Generation, The Space Between. It's volume 5 of the Star Trek TNG Eagle Moss IDW crap. Meh. I've got so many of these, I don't need any more. Although, I am incredibly, incredibly, incredibly happy to have this. World of Warcraft Cookbook by Chelsea Monroe Cassell from the best-selling author of A Feast of Ice and Fire, the official Game of Thrones companion cookbook and Hearthstone Innkeeper's Tavern cookbook comes the World of Warcraft's official cookbook and this is a Loot Crate edition so this, this was officially a Loot Crate thing a part of Loot Gaming as it says on the back but it's made its way over to Z-Box I'm not across though, I don't have this and this gives us some really cool things to make we've got, oh, we've got desserts and things in here as well it's not just like I expected it just to be like chicken leg <laughs> but no the fact that I've taken time and care to make these, these aren't just simple things. Oh, these are cool. Yeah, Brewfest pretzels, pine nut breads, soups and stews, beer basted ball ribs. Holy hell, that sounds good. Forest Strider drumsticks. And then they've got the dessert sections. Oh. Yeah, buddy. Look at the size of me. Of course, I like dessert. Chocolate celebration cake, conjured mana buns. This is a cool little cookbook. Darling brownie. Goblin shortbread. Wow! I want some goblin shortbread. Do you know what? I like that cookbook. That's a cool idea. I like that. I'm going to make some of these recipes, you know, and do them on, I'll put them on Instagram. So if you're, uh, if you're into that kind of stuff and you want to see me do some geeky baking, Head over to my Instagram, at SuperSorrel. Plus, that's where I keep all my action figure photography stuff and where you can find out usually what I'm getting up to outside of, you know, YouTube. It's the best way to keep up to date with me, Instagram, because I don't update Facebook, really. I use Twitter if I'm contacting companies, but Instagram's where I have all my fun stuff, so check over there. Right, that's the two Z-Boxes done. Well, Threads boxes. We've still got a Z-Box to go. We'll move on to my Geek Box now, guys. This is October's My Geek Box. To put the label on top again. Let's see what they've given us this month. Okay, so first thing I'm grabbing, guys, is a tea. Ooh, Transformers, Robots in Disguise. It's like a blueprint schematic of Optimus Prime. Transformers, Robots in Disguise. Autobots, roll out. I like that. That's cool, and it's official merch. There's the Transformers logo. Hasbro logo. Official. Transformers. Autobots roll out. <laughs> oh no! No! The curse of Eagle Moss continues across all the boxes. As you know, my geek box is presented by the same company as Z Box. They're both owned by the Hook Group which do both boxes, which means that that's why they share a lot of items sometimes. So, we've got Volume 7 and Volume 8 now. Can I make a whole set of these yet? No, because they have like a thousand issues. But this is Volume 7, the official motion picture adaptation. We've had that in a previous box. Scar and the Starfleet Academy. I don't think I've had this one yet. Starfleet Academy, meet characters from the new Star Trek movies in their student years. Okay. Two more for the Eagle Moss bin collection. <laughs> I'm sorry guys if you're a fan of them, I really am. It's just that... I'm not. Didn't we get this last month? Sorry, I've just seen that they've put this in the box. My Geekbox exclusive, Nuka Cola Quantum Limited Edition pin badge. But didn't we get a Nuka Cola badge last month that was, a, that was a, an exclusive? Thought we already had this. We did. We definitely had some form of new cola, didn't we? We had some Fallout stuff anyway. We definitely had some Bethesda pin badges. But I'm not sure if this one was included, but I've got a feeling it was. So if it has, that's the same item month on month. I'll have to go back and rewatch that video. 
But yeah, I'm pretty sure we received these because I had Super Soul Junior in the video and everyone commented how cute she was, like looking at the stuff. So I'm pretty sure we've already had this. Although, we have got two items in here that I am really excited to see. And I really do mean that. Bombshells. Boom. You know how much I love my DC bombshells. My DC ladies. This is Series 3, and we've got two of them to open. Which, if I just take the wrapper off the first one... Let me just take the wrapper off the first canister. You because it'll be shiny otherwise, now you can see it. There is a good... Oh, hopefully we might get a good chance of getting the Joker. But I'd love the Joker in this collection, but there's also Batman, Starfire, and Harley Quinn that I would like as well. Ravager's pretty cool. Superman, maybe. Raven, maybe. And there's two exclusives. But the one I would really want out of that would be Joker, and then probably Harley Quinn second. We've got two chances of getting them, so let's get the wrapper off this second one as well. I like these mystery blind bags. Alright, so first one. Oh, yes! Did you see that, guys? A dream is a wish your heart makes. I am stoked, man. That has just made this box ten times better for me. We got a Joker. Oh! Now I can die happy. Alright. If I get Harley in this second one, I'll be stupidly happy. No, but we did get Raven. And Raven again was the was the one another one that I said I would like. I'm glad we didn't get like a random crappy one. Remember that series they did with they they, series two where they had loads of cool ones and then they had loads of random crap ones. Like Hot Girl and stuff like that. I'm sorry, but I'm not a fan of those characters. But these are two that I would actually seriously keep. Hence why I'm throwing away the canisters. Gotta keep both of these. So there is Raven. Yeah. And of course the Joker. Happy days for Super Zoro like it I'll put some nice pictures of him on Instagram so make sure you uh, follow the followers over there like I said I'll put some photos up of those up close for you my camera doesn't do them justice the my Cryptozoic I think the name is the of that company that make them and they do such a good job with them right last box of the day guys Z box for this month if you're wondering why I'm doing them all in one big video, by the way, guys, it's just because I've got a lot of stuff coming up. I've got a lot of Star Wars. I need to get back on the Halloween content for you guys. And I've got some Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle NECA products turning up and a boatload of other things. We've still got half the month to go. And I'm pretty sure things like the Trick or Treat Sam comes out this month. And I've got two of those to review. So I've got lots of things coming up. And I want to get through a lot of this pile behind me before it falls on me. So I'm trying to get as much stuff out as well, I need to get a lot of it out before the new year, because in the new year, things change on YouTube, like I've mentioned before. We're not sure how payment's going to work for our channel, because we are technically a kid's channel. Even though I aim at adult collectors, YouTube still think that I'm a child-friendly channel or whatever. So my content, you might not be able to comment on it. In the might disable comments, not let you hit the like button, <laughs> and you won't be informed when my videos go online, because you won't get messages anymore, because they don't want no the notifications to go down to kids. What? Even though you've got an adult account that says you're over the age of 18, YouTube is still going to treat you like a child, which is terrible. I'm proper against these decisions, but hopefully it won't destroy my channel that I've built over the last three years. But we'll see. So I'm trying to get as much content out this year as humanly possible so that that pile behind me is barren by the new year. So we're going into the new year with all fresh stuff and we'll see how things pan out. But you can, you'll always find me gaming over on twitch.tv forward slash supersorrel. And you'll always find me online in some capacity at supersorrel. So don't worry, I'm not going nowhere, boy. Okay, new t-shirt. Actually a very subtle t-shirt and I kind of like it. It's the Shining yet again. 
It's just a plain red shirt that has the Shining there on the side. I like that. Again, it's got that nice same logo with the two little girls. Come play with us! Again, we've dug sleep around the corner. That's a cool shirt to wear for the opening night. Like it. Very subtle t-shirt, but I kind of like it. It's just plain red. It's nice. It's not too in your face. Ooh, we've got a daub. Didn't we get this previously in the last couple of months? The Walgreens exclusive Friday the 13th daub. I've got a feeling we had this previously. Pretty sure I have one of these, and we got a crew Freddy Krueger with it, didn't we? It was also Walgreens. Either way, it's a cool daub. I'll double check if we have it in the collection. If not, it'll be one that I will be keeping. Yeah, it's a nice daub though. I like it. <laughs> yeah, boy. Why have they put that? Why have they put sellotape on it? Why have the sellotapes in? Geekbox, why did you put sellotape on my Slimer? Don't ruin my Slimer. I'm a big fan of Ghostbusters, guys, so this is awesome. So, Ghostbusters plush soy with sound of uh, Slimer from Underground Toys. That's cool. I will keep that because I do love me some Slimer. It's like Wario. Last item of the box, guys, I think. Oh no. What's that? Escape is possible. Arkham City Institute for the Criminally Insane. Last item of the box. <laughs> Pop vinyl. Again, thank you for wrapping them, Z-Box. We like that. That's a good way to send them. Oh, it's Will from Stranger Things in his Ghostbuster outfit. Do you know, I would actually like all four of them in the Ghostbuster attire. I've been on two minds of whether to get um, the Ghostbusters set of NECA figures of them dressed up in the Ghostbusters outfits. Because it is a pretty cool idea for figures. Well, yeah, the NECAs would be just as cool, I think. Yeah, what do you guys think? A good pop? Have you got this one? Let us know in the comments. But guys, what was your thoughts on this box? What do you think of it? Is it a box you'd want for yourself? Let me know in the comments. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this mammoth video of me unboxing all of my uh, Z boxes and that in one big go. If you preferred this format, by the way, if you'd rather me wait until nearer the end of the month, when I've got like two or three of these to go, like today, they all just happen to arrive on one day, but would you like me to kind of save up till I have like two or three boxes and then do three boxes in one video rather than one box per one video? Was that a good way of getting through the boxes? Did you like this kind of video? Let us know in the comments. My channel always evolves from comments from you guys. So thank you very much for watching, guys. As always, I'm your host, Super Sorrel, and I'll see you in the next one. May the force be with you. Bye!